Good afternoon, FS Global Back Channel, and welcome back to FS Daily News, the number one place to get all your FS news in one video for the day. Could today or tomorrow be the day? Why I ask that question is because we are very close to that 70,000 subscriber mark. At the time of recording this, we are 113 subs away. Well, anyways, in news today, we have a few stuff to go over from this weekend, like a brand new farmhouse from OK Use Mods or some brand new Mac grain trucks. Now in new mods, we got a snowmobile. Yes, you heard that right. Plus, we also got more new mods to look at. Remember, if you guys do like this video, make sure to smash that like button. Talked enough, roll that intro, let's go. Walk it back. Okay, so the first big piece of news to talk about that happened this weekend was VSR Modding actually released a picture, and it was just basically a dark picture like this right here, saying tomorrow the lights will be on John Deere. And during the week, he actually released what he is going to be making. Yes, as you see right here, a John Deere autonomous tractor. I don't know what to really think about it because I don't really use those autonomous tractors. I don't think they look really good. Let me know if you guys are planning on using this in the comments section below. I mean, some people might like it. I, it's just not for me. After that, a new warehouse will be, well, not a new warehouse, but a new shed will be coming. This is a large metal pavilion from Farm Sim Gaming. This thing can hold nearly 3,000 square bales. Also, the good thing about this is it is going to be coming to console, and it is only nine slots per building, so that's not too bad right there. After that, a little bit of an update on also 4D Modding's his high spec 5000 Tri S Tinker. It is now in game, so he's actually started more on it. Remember, there is no release date or platform info at this time, but most of 4D Modding's does go to consoles too. And then something very, very excited that I am very excited about, and this is from BC Bueller Farms, same people that made the Seedhawk. He is making a Mack truck right here, basically a Mack grain truck. He has added some tipping options to the grain truck. So basically you do it from the door, you can do it from the big door, the grain door, or whichever one. Plus he also added some different coloring options on it. He also got some new wheels done for it, and he's almost done, wow. He also said that he's gonna be working on more of the Mack truck and he's gonna be actually adding some trailers to it. Uh, someone commented in there actually saying that it just needs a block heater door beside the driver's side headlight, otherwise it would be perfect. Can't wait for these right here. I've been wanting actually a grain truck for all platforms. After that, 82 Studio is back in the office working on more mods again. As well, you guys will see in the testing list today, actually his TLX 2020 update is actually in testing. So hopefully that does pass this week. But anyways, he has started on his new project, which I can't wait for this. Probably one of the best trucks that were in FS19. And that is of course the TLX 3500. He has teased us with the picture. I want more. I want more. I need this thing. But anyways, let's get to that last piece of news for today. And that is from OK Used Mods. Of course, he is bringing a farmhouse that's actually going to be in addition to the 24 by 36 American Garage that was just released for them. Uh, but anyways, two bed, one bath, fully integral. He has actually modeled everything from the ground up. Also, don't forget that this thing is going to be also having color selectable exterior. So can't wait for that. They are making some really good stuff. I'm happy that they are actually bringing stuff over that they've been doing on PC over to console mods because I've actually been following them for actually a while. But anyways, guys, that is all the regular news for today. Let's go over and take a look at the new mods we got for today. Welcome to the new mod showcase part of this video. Today, not a bad day in new mods, especially for a Monday. Let's see, we got 16 new mods and updates. For all platforms, we got one new map, plus 11 new mods. And for updates for all platforms, we got two new updates. Now for PC only, we got one new mod and one new mod update to go over. Let's just get to it. So the first new mod to talk about today is this one right here. This is a new map. This is Medivedin. This is from Midas MGS. This says, welcome to Medivin map. The map is based only on his imagination. Map contains two empty areas for building construction, 42 fields, including eight meadows, 10 cell points, 11 production buildings, a sawmill, three forests, land pre-purchased, one village, and also a new player mode. You get pre-built farm with machines. Have lots of fun on this one. So let's just take a really quick look at this real quick. 
So if we go over to here, here is the map right here. Uh, no extra crops or anything like that. You see the fields. There is a huge town right there with a, lots of factories. Uh, lots of factories over here too. Dairy, grain mill, and then of course your farm right there. Uh, you see the field size right there. Looks really good. But that is all I'm going to be showing you about this map. Let's go over the regular mods for today. Okay, so the first regular mod we're going to be talking about today is the big one. The Snow Wolf 500 from Adams Kong. And of course, this is a snowmobile. You know what? This would actually would have been great if this actually came out last week. Because if you guys were watching the live streams this weekend, we were playing with the, well, we were playing with snow. So it, this thing would have been very, very helpful. But anyways... This is the Snow Wolf 500, 95 horsepower, variable CVT, 20 liters of fuel, 62 miles per hour. Wow. A total price is $16,000. Let's see configurations. We got pretty much any color you want on there. All right, let's actually take a look at this in game. I can't wait. And of course, I had to make, you know, snow on no man's land. I mean, it's the only way to drive this thing, right? As you see, it does have a hitch in the back, so... Who knows what the future can hold with this thing? I mean, it'd be nice to get something, you know, to carry some logs or something like that. I mean, but anyways, let's get in it. Here is the interior. Really nice interior. Do we have lights on this thing? Let's see. Oh, you do. One set of lights, two set of lights, two sets of lights on there. Of course, there is no turn signals or beacons like that. That does light up in the back. I'm going to be quiet so you guys can hear that engine. Not a bad engine. And yes, you can drive this without snow if you want to, but you gotta have snow. Come on. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. 62 miles an hour. Let's see how fast it can hit it. Nice tracks in the back. I mean, look at this. It's not actually too bad. I like this. I mean, look, we're at 62 miles an hour and it's not too too bad to drive. How's the brakes? Brakes good. It's not flipping over or turning or anything like that. I mean, control is pretty good on this. Okay, I am very actually happy with this. I'm probably going to be using this. So, guys, this is the Snow Wolf 500. You know what? Let, let, let's get into some warmer climate and take a look at these other mods. The next new mod on the list for today we have is the Fershit B550 Plow. Let's see, 3.2 tons. It does require 200 horsepower, 2.9 working meters, 7 miles an hour is the operating speed, 15,400 design. You got standard design. You got B601 Packer, which that's pretty nice right there. And then back to standard. Uh, let's see, main colors. You got blue, you got green, you got brown, Tatra red, Tatra orange, and Fershit blue. Rim color, you got any color you can think of. After that, we have a new trailer for today, and this is the Flegel ASW256 from Agrar Design Austria. Uh, this holds up to 26,000 liters, 7.4 tons, $40,000. Will brand, we got Trailboard, we got Michelin, BKT, Vritistein. Trailboard, you got Standard, you got wide tires. Uh, probably gonna be wide tires for all of them, let me make sure. Yep, wide tires, wide tires, yep, it's all wide tires on that. Then next on the list, we have some new subsoilers. This is the Agromosh Duro 130-140 from Bardso NV3. It includes the Duro 130, which is $10,000. It does require 130 horsepower, three working meters on that. Uh, and then we have the bigger one, which is four meters. And this one requires 150 horsepower. Then we have a new cultivator. This is the Gornick Grantzer Supra 5M. And this is from White Bull Modding. Let's see, 2.7 tons, 170 horsepower is required, 5 working meters, 10 miles an hour is the operating speed, 12,500. And the detail looks really good on this one. We're going through these pretty fast. The next one after that one is the Agromosh Cutter 300 from Bardso NV3. This is a mulcher right here. Uh, 500 kilograms, 70 horsepower is required, 3 working meters, $12,000. Configurations, you got none. You got design one, which looks like it puts weights on the top. Design two. Design three, and then back to none on that. Then next on that list we have is the back lifter from EY Modding, and this is pretty much a well a front loader for for your back. Anyways, this is 440 kilograms, 4,500. Main color you can change the color to anything you want on there. And then now on to the last regular mod for all platforms for today is this right here. We went through those pretty fast. This is the Lizard Fork from B Gamer 003. 
300 kilograms, $400. You got bales 125, 150, 180, double bale 125, double bale 150, pallets narrow, pallets wide, spike, and then back to there. I like, like how you get all these options on this one. You got main color, any color, and then you got design color, any color. Next, let's talk about some new placeables for today. The first one is the machine sheds from Dirt Masher Modding. Hopefully I didn't butcher that name. But here is a shed right here. Do these doors, yep, these doors do open and does have sound on them. And this is a huge shed and it's pretty cheap right here. Like the slanted roof. Wow, that's, that's really nice right there. And that door opens and, hold, let me bring that up real quick. And there is a light switch right over there. Where can you find this? Let's go over here. Let's go under sheds. And it is right there. $65,000. And it does have 360 degree rotation on that. Then the next new placeable for today is the garage with cow barn from Michael LS. Pretty nice little cow barn right here. As you see, it does have a slurry pit. And it also has a manure plate. So that is a plus right there. Because you don't get many cow barns that actually come with the manure storage now. Which I don't get why. But anyways, uh, this thing can hold up to 50 cows. So cows going right to there. Uh, looks like that's for the slurry. And then this looks like it's for the food. Now right here should be where the manure comes out. So you actually have to go in here and pick up the manure and bring it over to the manure plate. You have to use a shovel for it. So you actually have to muck out your own cow barn. And then also a plus with this is it comes with a shed too. So you can store your vehicles. And this is a Pretty nice shed right here. So let's go over here. Let me bring this up real quick. Okay, turn shed lights on. There we go. I mean, this is a pretty nice little cow barn right here. It looks like in the back right over here, this is where you get your milk. So definitely make sure you have room. Don't do what I just did. I mean, this is really nice. This is the garage with cow barn. Where can you find this? Let's go under animals. And it's right there. It's $150,000. And you also get 300 to degree rotation on that. Okay, now the last new placeable for today is this right here. This is the Butter Co. Factory from Corito Farms. I love this thing right here. But anyways, what is this? This gives you an alternative way to make butter with less or no milk. Price is $70,000, which is the same price as the other one. Uh, let's see, daily maintenance is $100. But input, you can actually put sunflower oil and olive oil. I'll put you get butter. You can put canola oil and milk and you get butter. Or of course you could do the standard, the milk and you get butter. So it gives you a lot more options. So of course your palace will come out right there and you dump your stuff in right over here. And then the back should be, yep, right there. I always make these things really narrow. But as you see, butter, butter, butter. See this one right here takes your sunflower oil. So basically you move the oil over to here and you can get butter out of it. So not too bad, okay. Anyways, guys, that is the new mods for today. All wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where can you find this? I probably should have showed that off, huh? So if we go all the way over to productions, there it is, right there. Butter factory. See, seventy thousand, and the other one, the dairy, which is the original one, is seventy thousand. So the same price. The only difference is you can't make your chocolate or cheese with that one. But not bad. I I really want to see more factories come out to all platforms. Anyways, guys, that is all the new mods for today on all platforms. Probably got to say probably my favorite one for today would have to be that snowmobile. OK, let's go over the updates and then go over the PC new well, PC only new mod and update. The first update for today we got is for the Angvarian countryside map. Anyways, what was fixed on this one? Fixed water bodies on the whole map, authorizations of a building, fixed mission gear spawn in store, fixed main farm buildings not loading in hard game, Fixed flying trees, fixed a wooden sign going through a building in the main farm, added more car traffic, modification of the sheep building, and modification of the pig farm. Also, a new save game is required on that. And then the last new update for all platforms for today is for this one right here, the PB30X1. What changed on this one? Fixed FPS crash issue when animating dust while working in the field. Okay, let's go over and take a look at the PC only ones now. The only PC only new model we got for today is this one right here. This is the PDM 8X2 PC, and this is from M Arta Move. Anyways, this is 5.5 tons, does require 300 horsepower, 8 working meters, 10 miles an hour, 16,842, and this is a Descaro 
for, of course, shallow cultivation of your fields. Now on to the only PC only update, and that is for this one right here. This is Quick Camera. What changed on this one? Fixed mod conflict with realistic cab view, added control action for doing both change of direction and flip camera, modified back forth rotation of inside in cab camera to work more like head turning and some translations updated. So that right there is everything guys. That is the new mods for all platforms, the updates for all platforms, the PC only new mod and the PC only update. What's left to go over? That testing list, the first testing list for the week. Well, that was the news, new mods, and testing list for today. Not really that bad for a Monday. Today's schedule, no other videos, so no live streams or anything. Live streams start back up Wednesday night unless we hit that 70,000. If we hit that 70,000, I'll do a special live stream. Anyways, remember, if you guys did like this video, make sure to smash that like button. Also, if you're new, to hit that sub button and ring that bell. And from me to you, welcome to the club. Have a good day. Peace.